Hello Libra, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your July 2023 mini tarot reading. We're going to take a shuffle here and see what's coming up for you. Happy 4th of July to all of those of all of you that are in the U.S. or from the U.S. It's a big celebration for us here. And if you're not in the U.S., um, wherever you're at, I hope peace is there. Enjoy bliss and ease is yours for you. Let's take a look here. Oh, one more thing. Uh, this Please know that this is a general reading, and if you'd like one just about you, I've included my website down below where you can purchase a reading, and we'll get it set up for you as quickly as we can. Now, with that said, let's go forward here. Wow, it looks like there's things already in place for something for you. I have the High Priestess covering this, and I'm feeling like either something you asked for or waited for is before you. And then I have the Nine of <coughs> excuse me, Pentacles, and it's like I'm feeling all alone here. And I, how do I say this just right? You're not going to be alone for long. I just feel those of you that have been alone or are alone or feeling alone, there's something going to change where there's either someone coming for you or you're going to open to the energy around you um, of the people that are close to you. Because I feel this is love of some kind. It says, just because we've had disagreements in the past, even with our self-disappointments, Magician says that's going to change. I feel like uh, things you've wished for that are before you, maybe it's timing. I know there's something to do with timing for some of you where it's like, okay, the, the good door deed door is open where things just keep coming through, coming through. Don't question it. Just be have an attitude of gratitude for it. I know that sounds funny the way I said it, but I, that's what I heard. So here it says too that alms dispense with justice means I almost feel like if you're, you've been un, undervalue, undervaluing yourself or something you're doing, if you're selling a house, make sure you get an appraisal on it. If you're buying a house, make sure you get an appraisal on it because you don't want to be undervaluing anything of money at this time or of prosperity. And I feel like some of you that are wanting to sell or buy, it's real important that you know the actual value of what you're doing here says, don't make any foolish choices. Yeah, easier said than done, I know. But it says, if you're really wanting to go to that place, travel somewhere like you've been talking about doing for a long time, maybe the time now is to do it or, or get the plans in process or get those tickets or whatever it is we're talking about here. It says, don't be putting everything off. If you really want something for yourself or um, you've been dreaming of wanting to do it and you're doing things for everybody else, maybe this is a time where you say, you're like, you know, I really want to do this now while I can and I feel good about it. It says, don't feel guilty, just move forward with it. When we do that, we have the Ace of Swords, which means it's going to happen. But even more important than that, I have the Sun card, which is going to bring you joy. And it seems like you really could use some joy right now. <clears throat> you deserve joy. Just because the past, and not just because, even though the past had a lot of upheaval, sadness, things that hurt right here, um, it, in, I'm not saying that ever changes. I feel almost feel I'm talking about grief of some kind, like losing somebody. That grief will probably never go away. It'll always be there. But it's also, <clears throat> I feel like it's time that you start living for you now, if you can. And not I did, that's just what it feels like to me. It says here that making plans for the future. Let's 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 live in the future. <laughs> let's not live in the future. Let's get them wrote down and start doing. Um, <clears throat> wow, I feel like there's going to be somebody's pregnant around you. Wow. Or maybe it's your pregnancy. I just feel heavy right now. Not heavy in a good way, pregnancy, and I'm excited about it. So it looks like someone that has been trying to get pregnant may get that um, answer for them. If they're wanting a second child, then they've been trying and it's not working. I feel like they're, there's just an announcement of pregnancy coming here somewhere. And it's all positive. It's really good, excited. Um, intuition, kind of some, some of you already kind of feeling that's already going to happen. And this is something that is excellent. It's really want, you know, I don't believe there's any child that comes into this world that's not supposed to be here. But this is like a much anticipated wantedness um, and a celebration, big celebration. And remember, the Ace of Cups says when your mind is filled with spirit, fills your body to overflowing. What you think about, you become. And because of fear for some of you with this pregnancy, there, the, the fear has <clears throat> maybe hindered or put it off a little bit. So just look up and be thankful. And that's going to bring new beginnings for you and those that this touches in a way. Um, apprenticeship, apprenticeship in a relationship. Okay, if you're single 
and have not just thinking that you're supposed to stay single, um, whoever this is for, the message is um, open up and there's somebody waiting to, to, to meet you or come in or something like that. And there's nothing wrong with being um, alone, but you don't have to be. I just get the feeling someone feels like they have, some, somebody's feeling like they have to be alone. Well, your, your alone time seems to be over if you want it to be. It looks like there's opportunities going to present themselves and choices are going to be made. And of course, it's up to you. <clears throat> and if you choose to be alone, that again is up to you. So let's just move on. The message I hope is received by whoever that was for. I feel like celebrations are coming to feel like a victory. Someone that has, you know, really had a tough time. Or there's several people that have had a really tough time over the last, I want to say, three or four years. Try to move forward with no guilt. There's blessings for you. I don't know how, I don't know why, but you're gonna feel like things are like, yes, finally starting to fall into place, being at the right place at the right time, making the right call at the right time. It just seems like your luck is gonna change. And then it says again about relationship. Those of you that are single and alone, if you would like to have someone to walk with you, they're coming if you can just open to open the, the, the mental door, the spirit door, the love door, whatever it might be, and let them in. It, 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 they're coming and it's going to be good and it's going to last. It says if counsel is needed for something, whether it be a lawyer, um, could be a doctor, could be two friends talking. And I almost feel like someone from the past is going to show up. Now, I don't know if that's love or just friendship, but it's going to be like something rekindled. Um, so I almost feel like it's friends. Uh, and with that said, who couldn't use a new friend or an old friend, something like that? Just make sure that <clears throat> they are who they say they are. You know, we can go away for a while and come back totally different. I'm not saying they are, but just make sure that you do that. And also, don't give your power away. You don't have to say yes all the time to kids, grandkids, sisters, brothers, you know, lovers, whatever. You can learn that N word, which is no, and give yourself some extra time and extra space or extra whatever it is you need because when you take care of yourself and fill yourself up to overflowing you have that much more to give feeling like you don't know what to do right now <clears throat> that's going to change i just feel like okay how do i say the past was not so good on certain things it was great at some things some things were so deeply sad or hard that we sometimes harden or cover this area if we can we can how do I want to say? You can't really let go of the past, but you can't keep living. If you keep living the past, the pain stays there. It always will be there, but sometimes just the best course of action is to let it go and work with what's left. That's very blunt. I don't mean it crude, mean, or anything else, but it says if we've learned from the past, we can't change it, but we can live with what is left for that, whether it be love, money, anger, whatever it is. It, I mean, it's different. For a lot of people, it's different, but I just feel like not focusing on how the past is or still is, is just going to keep us at that point. If we can let it go and learn from it, we still have something to work with. Even if it's just forgiveness you need to do, and you're actually not forgiving for them, you're setting yourself free by doing that. And again, I got the travel card. If you're wanting to travel, this is a time to start doing it or getting the thing in motion. Um, and I don't know why, but it, it's going to happen if you've talked about travel, if you've talked about going here, or going there, or whatever, it is a good time to get that started. So with that said, Libra, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss. I so appreciate you dropping by to see me, and I'll see you again next month.